Hello AI lovers, we are AI Sciences and today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic that is how can we automate WhatsApp messages? How can we automatically send what messages on WhatsApp and you know a, a little bit more things as well. So we are going to do it by using Python. We are going to write a program and by using Python programming language and for that we are going to make use of PyWhatKit library. So agenda is uh, we'll start with installation and documentation a little bit. Then we'll see how can we Google search uh, by using uh, this PyWhatKit library. Then we'll also see how can we uh, YouTube search uh, by using again the same library in just one line of code, right? And then finally, we'll see how can we send WhatsApp messages by using Python. How can we send a message to an individual? And also, how can we send a message, um, you know, in a, in a group as well? And one more interesting thing is that you can send messages in bulk as well. You can schedule your messages. Let's say you have to send someone me a message after one week or one month. You can do that. You can do that. You can schedule your WhatsApp message and stuff like that, right? <laughs> So let's jump into it. So how can we do that? First of all, pip install pi what kit. This is how we can install it. And then there is a lot, a lot of in, um, a lot of um, documentation available. Uh, um, I mean, in in different variants as well. You can read it. You can um, um, you can ask me questions if you you're not getting any point. But um, rather than reading this documentation, I'm leaving it up to you uh, and I'm directly jumping into the implementation. So first of all, this is how you can install this library since I have already installed this library. Th that's why I'm not going to run this command. And then I'm just importing it. And here the magic begins straight away. So I'll say pi what get. Yeah. I, okay. So pi what get dot search. Okay. So let's search AI sciences if I run this it will open another um, another cell um, another another tab in my in my window in my window of my browser and it will search whatever we have searched over there so it, we have we had searched AI sciences so here it is and by the way if you will click on AI sciences you will find a lot of courses um, related to artificial intelligence Python a lot of books and stuff like that okay the second thing is how can we uh, search on YouTube? So let's say pywhatkit dot play on YT. YT stands for YouTube. And, uh, and let's again search for AI sciences. I mean, let's again play AI SCI -E Right? Let's run it. Okay, so here we go. So it has again opened a new window, and here is here we go. So whatever comes at first. Oh, okay. So whatever comes at first by on the search of AI sciences, it has run that. Okay. Now the important and cool stuff, which is uh, sending the WhatsApp messages. So how can we do that? Simply, we'll say pi what get dot send what message. Okay. Okay. So here we have to do a few things. First of all. Okay, first of all, you have to be logged in into into your your browser for, for the WhatsApp, right? This is the first uh, you can say prerequisite, and then um, here we have to write some number positive nine two, let's say three two one, um, eight. Okay, so I'm writing some number. Okay, so here is some number that I have written over here, and then. I'll say I'll, I'll, I'll type a message over here let's say I am a robot right and here we will mention that uh, when this message should be sent so first of all uh, it takes parameter in terms of R so let's say um, uh, let, let's make it um, 21 R and then make it uh, 50 um, let's say 58 minutes right so 21 hour 58 minutes it will send this message right to this number at 21 hours 58 minutes right okay so if I run this it will again uh, attempt to open a whatsapp window for me yeah I think it is opening a whatsapp window in in, in the in the 
in the other window of Chrome. Let me check that. Okay, so since uh, it is not time yet, it is uh, roughly still two minutes remaining in order to reach this time. So it says that uh, the window, uh, I mean, the WhatsApp will open in 121 seconds. And after opening, uh, it will send message or message will be delivered after 15 seconds. So this 15 is default time, right? How can we change this 15? So while we are waiting uh, for these 121 seconds, let, let's write a few more commands over here. So I'm just copying this over here. And um, okay, so if uh, this, this is the same, let's write a few more parameters over here. So here we can mention that okay after opening the window you have to send mess uh, you have to deliver the message after 30 seconds right so I'm, I'm specifically uh, mentioning it over here and then I'm saying that okay uh, close my window after two seconds of delivery uh, of the delivery of message right so it will automatically close your window as well right okay so one more a very interesting application of this um, of, of this thing is let's say you have a list of a lot of numbers right so let's say you have list of this number this number this number I mean let's say these are all the whatsapp numbers that you have right okay so you, you can just write a for loop for let's say num n lst right and okay so 121 seconds have reached that's why it has automatically uh, attempt attempted to open this whatsapp screen over here and it is it is still trying to log in meanwhile okay so here you can see that uh, i mean that number was sa saved in my phone as sajad mustafa and it has written i am not I, I am a robot that text over here now after 15 seconds it will automatic automatically send this message right so let's go um, i mean let's not wait for these 15 seconds Let, let's go over here and resume what we were talking so let's say you have um uh, you have th this list of whatsapp numbers and you want to send some text on all these numbers so all you have to do is you have to write a for loop and in this for loop you have to write this command and over here you have to replace this with uh, with a string of numbers right so string str num yeah that's it that's about it so i mean even you have let's say a million numbers this will do the job for you right okay so um one more thing how can you send a message to to the group right so we'll say by what get dot send um send message to group right and here we will type the um or we will paste the address of group right so let's randomly type me over here and uh, here we'll say testing group message right and then again here uh, we have to uh, we have to write the time so let's say 21 um, I don't know 59 right so this is the time and if you will run it it will attempt to uh, to send the message over there all right so so far we what we have covered is we have covered how can we search on on google how can we search on or play on youtube how can we send messages on some specific number on a spe or how can we schedule a message on a specific number on a specific time how can we uh, bulk send messages and and stuff like that okay so uh, one thing uh, yeah let's check out on whatsapp uh, okay great so here is i am a robot the message is delivered to Sajad Mustafa right so yeah that's about it and also we have learned that how can we uh, send messages inside the groups as well so yeah that was the goal and we have done that subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon do not check do not miss any video that we upload on this channel thank you